So, now's the time. It's time to put the debate to bed. The best, coolest, and most attractive ship set in Sea of Thieves. For something to qualify on the list, it needs to have at least three parts. I'll be doing individual sales soon, so without further ado, let's get onto the video. Starting off with the list is our honourable mention, the Eternal Freedom ship set. This gorgeous ship set perfectly captures the spirit of the Black Pearl and condenses it down to a neat Sea of Thieves style package. While not a patch on its real life counterpart, it's still the best Emporium ship set and the only one deserving to be on this list. We're kicking off the actual list with one of the coolest starting sets Rare have ever made, the Ruffian Sea Dog set. The beautiful baby blue goes well with the purple making this one of the most colourful ship sets going. With simple cannons, capstan and wheel, the ship keeps its function while having a nice form. The figurehead is just a recolour of the regular Sea Dog version, as is most of the ship, but this is the best of the bunch. Introduced way back in Forsaken Shores, we got this superb ship set modelled after the Shroud Breaker Captain by Grace Morrow. The ship is compromised of a dusty, ash-coloured hull, which is suitably spicy for the content update. The real standout of the ship set is the glowing wheel, cannons and capstan, which look insane at night. Not the most practical by any means, but style is the game here, not substance, otherwise the sailor's cannons would be on top. Finally, I want to point out how great the figurehead is. It really ties it all together with a flaming wyvern glowing red hot. Good stuff. Back with another glowy set, the Reaper's Bone ship is not as in your face and is used by Reaper runners everywhere. I love this ship set as it reminds us that we're all Reaper runners at heart. No? Just me? Moving on. The bone motif on the cannons, wheel and cap stand really suit the theme and having runes dotted around the place really sells the Reaper theme, especially with the glowing runes on the sails. Of course, the figurehead stands out the most, with the Reaper removing his mask to show he's cursed and holding the chalice of resurrection. The Reapers believe in pirates for all eternity and will shove it in your fucking face at all times, apart from when they red see their loot due to people chasing them. Then we have to be friendly. I'm not really a merchant, but these MFs have got style. This spot is occupied by two ships, because I couldn't get away with just putting the ambassador ship set alone on here. You know, the cooler Daniel. The Merchant Alliance ship is a great start and maybe my favourite faction ship overall. Eagle motifs are everywhere here along with the globes. The gold and blue gives you this regal feel and exemplifies the Merchant Alliance. The ambassador version takes this one step further and improves on the whole theme. The wheel is a standout here for me as well. I can't wait to see this completed in the coming seasons as long as Rare want to finish these ship sets first anyways. The Gold Hoarder sets are coming in at number 6 because they're one of few cosmetics that actually use green, one of my favourite colours. The base ship set is an absolute gem, pun intended, and makes me feel like gold member. Green and gold go really well together and here is no exception. Extra points for the wheel, capstan and cannons, which masterfully reflect the Gold Hoarder style with the industrial forge look to them too. Skeleton keys are all around here and look stunning. Not practical again, but who the f*** cares. Tribute Peak takes it up a notch and I can see the Gold Hoarder helming the shit out of this. Again, I can't wait to see this finished. Top marks for the hull here and the metallic effect on the paint to make it look like we sailed it through the throne room at Tribute Peak. Well done, Rare. Why the hell has he put the Admiral set this far up on the list? Well, this was the first ship set I bought when I was still new to the game and scraped together all my pocket change to get it. Gold was rare back in my day. The Royal Navy style, the Poseidon figurehead, the navy blue sails and hull. God, I love this ship set. It reminds me of a simpler time, so it's pure nostalgia for me. I was still a fresh faced young sailor at this point with big dreams of the Sea of Thieves. Now, as a veteran of the seas, it still captures the feeling of the early game when I put it on. Of course, things always change. And we're hopeless to stop it. Trash and Dragon, or its nickname the Ash and Dragon, is the ship set of noobs everywhere. Why? It's easy to earn, it looks great, and people just love the Ashen set. I sport the Ashen Curse and rocked the hull for a very long time. The Dark Phoenix half set will eventually overtake this, but for now, this glowing, moving bonfire remains high on the list. I love the lore behind the ship, I love the aesthetic, and I love that it ties in the Flame Arts theme of dragons. Overall, a fantastic ship set, worthy of fourth place. After finally achieving my Admiral ship, the Kraken ship set was my next goal, and I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. The dark purple sails, the tattered look, and the oily, inky effect the hull has is to die for. This beast looks amazing and thankfully hasn't had its reputation soiled quite as badly as the parrot or crab ship sets. And what does Rare do once I have this? Bring out the inky Kraken stuff, which became my second name ship, the Bloody Leviathan. I love this ship through and through and will always have a special place in my heart. Pretty soppy, I know. 
Now we're getting into the cream of the crop. The Silver Blade exemplifies excellence and is fit for a young scholar such as Flameheart Jr. Even though the ship's captain is long gone, his legacy endures through this bright white brilliance. The only point of note is that I hate the cannons, with their taco bowl ends but the rest can stay. The turquoise gems, the bright white paint and the eagle roosting on a dragon snout all tie together really well. It's one of the only white ships in the game and is lusted after by many. I love this ship, I love its lore and it was worth those 30 plus weeks in Insider. Enough said. Was there ever any doubt? I guess you can say this is the only deserving ship on this list, the Wading Barnacle. You can put Silent Barnacle on here too, but Wading is the deserving OG. I lusted off the ship for so long and was only available for a limited time during Shrouded Spoils, where Duke sold it for doubloons in the black market. Captained by Stitcher Jim until he sunk it, the standouts of the Barnacle's pale blue colour and the discoloration from being at the bottom of the sea for too long. As my second favourite figurehead of all time, the best cannons, wheel and sails, and the hull looks awesome too. The only ship that will probably overtake this for me will be the Burning Blade or Jade Dragon, which we don't have to worry about for a while. Amazing ship, perfect in my opinion, and I hope we get our third recolour soon. Many of my long time subscribers know this was definitely going to be on top of the list, so well done if you guessed that. There we go, the best ship sets in Sea of Thieves. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Also, go follow my Twitch where I'm grinding to Legendary Sea Dog with viewers, it's been a lot of fun so far. This week's giveaway question is, what's your favourite ship set and why? Let me know in the comments for your chance to win an Obsidian 6 pack. Make sure you leave your Xbox Gamer Tag too. Thanks again for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. It seems they care for no reward for a tender ministration When we have toppled overboard in our inebriation But if it's you they've chosen, they'll surround you with their kin Your legs are... My Siren King, forgive me! I only wish to avenge you.